this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts with my second video with these backgrounds that I created a week ago. And I told you I wanted to do something different with the other card. And I'm going to link to the video below of my four cards that I created a week ago. But this one, I wanted to combine my love of Sam Calcott's videos and my Lavinia. So I've got my Lavinia stamp ready, which is this one. So you can't see that on the background there. Can't remember what his name now. What his name now? Oh, Lupin. It says that on the packaging. Yeah, but I also wanted to create a fun fold card. And this one's really, really easy to do. It looks complicated, but it's very easy. And it's called a pop out gatefold card. And all you need to do, I'm doing this in the 5 by 7 and also going to link to Sam's video below so you can check out how she's doing it. It's a bit difficult to see because I used some black cardstock. I did not have any matching green cardstock. And because I want to stamp Lupin um, in white, or rather heat emboss him in white on black, I haven't done this yet, I hope it works out. I thought I'd just use a black um, base card as well. So all you need to do is you score two lines, uh, sorry, the whole base is 10 by 7 inches. So 10 long, 7 here, which is great because you can create it from an A4 card. Then you score at 2.5 and 7.5 and or the other way around, depending on which way your um, scoreboard goes. Then you need to decide on a width of the frame here. I just chose one inch. It's up to you, really depends on the size of the panel you want in the middle. And you trim this, you, you, sorry, you cut this. I just use the cutting function of my scoreboard. So I laid it down like this and cut it here and then turned it around again and cut it again at one inch. I find it easier sometimes to turn it around. And then you need to decide on the width of the panel. Again, I decided I basically put my stamp here in the middle and had a look how wide this is. But it's really up to you. You can create any width. You can go smaller. You can go a bit wider. And again, I chose just one inch and I scored it between the cut lines just from there to there and the same on this side. A little tip for you, if you accidentally, what you do need to do is you go on the scoreboard, you put your tool down very gently, but try to stay in here and then just press harder here and then just stop at the bottom. If you accidentally slip, as I did, in the in the um, lines there and you, you miss the one, you can always go on the back and just flatten it out a bit with the back of your bone folder so nobody will notice. So, and when you've done all the scoring, these just get folded in and burnished like a normal gatefold card. Then these here in the middle, you have to pinch them. You can decide whether you want to pinch them forwards as a mountain or backwards. It's really up to you. If you have got an embellishment in the middle that is higher then the cut line here, you can actually bend them backwards or as I said, you can bend them forwards, that's up to you. I can show you the difference afterwards as well. And then these, you need to pinch as a mountain fold. It is a bit tricky, that's why it stopped me doing it to show you. So just do it like this. And then again, pinch this side. And then you can lay it flat to score. So you can see now how this pops out. You just hold it a bit against the light. And as I said, these can go forward or can go backwards. So as soon as you burnish them properly, they stay in place. So this can sit up like this, or as I said, or to the front. And it all folds flat. To the gatefold card and you can then create a belly band. So I'm going to cut the embellishments now and I'm going to stamp loop in and um, put all the um, mats and layers on this and then I'll show you the finished card. I actually probably have to work a few shifts in between so uh, I might not be able to show you the um, result 
until this evening so the video will be a late one but never mind I'll get it done so my card is nearly finished on the outside I used two panels from my brusho ink backgrounds the one that speckled and I thought this would be really nice for the outside and maybe a bit too busy for the inside and then when you open the card it folds up like this this is why it's called a pop out gatefold card so we've got the rabbit or the hair I should say sticking out like this and I used for these panels I used the more solid panel for the background and then put the slimmer panels on here that are a bit more speckled and the same bits cardstock I used for all the way around I didn't have enough to mat these so I just went for some single panels I don't know if you can see that well and then I had this piece that was just the spray the acrylic spray and I used that to cut some little hearts and I also used it to create a belly band and I haven't assembled this completely yet because I wanted to show you how to do that if you've never done a belly band I have created this from two strips so I just cut one inch strips and I attached them here and I decided to have the bit where it's attached just to the side. You can also have it in the middle, but I thought it would be less obvious. And what you do is when you've got a strip like that, you take your card and you just lay it around and just basically fold it quite loosely. You don't burnish it, you just press it down a little bit. And where it meets in the middle, I just cut it down from both sides to just have a little bit that overlaps and then that gets glued together and you use your embellishment I still have my sentiments that I created last week so that will just go in the middle and then when the recipient receives the card they can just slide it off like this it gets a bit stuck now I think because it's not properly glued together and then the recipient can open the card like this and stand it up I will obviously in the thumbnail include a photo of what it looks like when it's standing up. As I said before, you can fold these bits back if you wanted to, but I think it's actually more effective if they fold forward. So if you got them scored like this, it will automatically open like this. Yeah. I hope you like this card. If you did, you might want to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, I post two to three times a week. Then you might want to subscribe to my channel. I'd be very happy about that. And I'll see you soon.